Hey, my name is Jordan Valeria, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to track huge rock guitars that sound like this. So that's a record I produced and mixed, and as you can hear, the guitars are big, they're clear, and they're powerful. And when it comes to getting this kind of guitar sound, I'm gonna boil it down to just one key for you here in this video. I don't want you leaving this video with like a new amp plugin to try or a new mixing trick or a new signal chain to try on the guitars in your mixes, like none of that. In fact, I'll show you how these guitars sound with, with no processing at all. So if we bypass all the plugins here in the guitar chain, check it out. So it's almost like no change with the with the signal or the processing chain in the mix. That's just giving it like an extra 5% of like life and presence. But as you can hear, just raw straight in, this tone is great. It sounds huge and it's tight. So let's talk about what is actually keeping your guitars sounding like small, weak, and maybe kind of flabby or fuzzy. And right off the bat, let's just talk about the things that most people think are gonna get them to, to really big, powerful guitar tones. In a word, it's layers, right? People are obsessed with layers, like multiple layers of different tones and multiple layers of different takes, you know? Like, all right, let's, let's, let's get one rhythm tone, let's double that, let's switch the amp and switch the guitars, let's double it again, let's, let's quad track and layer these guitars and let's get this wall of sound, right? We're going for this wall of, wall of tone and, and guitar tracks that's just gonna absolutely, you know, blow the listener away. Well, I'm sorry to say, but that is just all completely wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is not about the perfect tone, it is not about layering tones, and it's not about layering more takes. Let me prove this to you right now. So what I'm gonna do is actually re-record this entire guitar riff myself. I'm gonna play the guitar and I'm gonna track it the way that most people would track it, trying to get a big sound. So this is just the uh, Neural DSP Archetype Nolly plugin. This is just a preset that I created here. Um, literally nothing else. Um, right off the bat, it's a pretty good tone. But let's see, let me track this a couple times, all right? All right, so there's one take. We'll double it again. All right, so we got two takes left and right here. Okay, so it sounds okay, but maybe it doesn't sound quite big enough yet. So again, if we kind of take the path that most people would do, let's duplicate these. Let's quad track it. Maybe if we quad track it, you know, it's, it's going to sound a little bigger, a little fatter, and maybe we'll even kind of change some tones. But let's start with just getting two more takes. All right, so there we go. I've done four takes left and right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's solo these out. To me, that sounds like the average person's recording. This, you know, you're, you're in with the band or you're recording yourself. You get a section, you, you play the whole thing as tight as you can, and maybe you stack it, you layer it, this is what you end up with. Now, I'm going to actually go and track this for real, and we'll just kind of speed through it, otherwise, you know, this video will be way too long, but I'm gonna track this for real with extreme attention to detail. I'm not gonna change anything at all with the tone, and I'm gonna show you how much better I can actually get this to sound with just a single left and right take. All 
All right, so I just finished tracking this in a serious fashion. Now let's listen to what it sounds like now. Again, compared to the first version I did. New version. And now listen, just to prove to you that tone doesn't matter, let's choose a completely different amp here. Let's go to like the Marshall style. Let's go, let's just choose another preset. Let's do this one. So completely different tone, completely different sound here. Let's check this. And again, that's just me recording at home here and I'm not a great guitar player. Let's again, check out the original version and listen to the tightness and clarity in these takes. So what do you hear here? What are you hearing? I hope that you're, you're picking out the difference here and maybe to your ears, it could be subtle, but this is the difference, okay? The actual finished guitar tone and the example that I just tracked, one take left, one take right, but here's the key. It is flawless. There's no finger noise. There's no squeaks. There's, there's no uh, out of tune notes. There's no sloppiness. And as I showed you before, even without any mixing chain, no EQ, no compression, none of that stuff, it still sounds like a great finished guitar tone for a rock record. And so look, I know it's a little bit beyond the scope of this single YouTube video to show you all the complicated techniques and problem solving strategies to get super tight takes like this, even if someone can't really play uh, what they wrote or they can't play their part right, like for example, how I couldn't really play this riff very cleanly. But like I said, you are now walking away from this video knowing what it actually takes to get this tight, huge guitar sound that you hear on modern records. It's not a special EQ trick. It's not a plug and chain. It's not even a special amp. I don't really care what amp you have. It's all about getting tight, flawless guitar takes. And now what you know what goes into this professional modern rock guitar sound, go listen to some, some of your favorite rock records. Listen to the guitars. Listen how there are no mistakes. There is no sloppiness. There is no bad tuning. This is how you get huge guitar sounds and it has nothing at all to do with mixing. So look, this is just one of the many areas where aspiring producers and engineers are getting it wrong. And if you wanna go deeper into what it actually takes to go from amateur to competitive pro quality records, then click below and register for my free seven part full stack producer video series. I made the whole series available for Recording Revolution subscribers for the entire month of July. You can go and binge watch it now. And just like I did in this video, I'm gonna show you more of the secrets that really go into making pro caliber label quality records today. So hit that link and sign up. It's totally free and I'll see you over there.